February first, uh, and I just came up the lake for Sherbrooke's canoe here. Although I was up there two days ago in my tracker, three days ago in my tracker. There's my cabin right there, and this is the lake. Yeah, and a very nice morning. Really nice morning. This is the Narrows right there, and there's another spot up in the pond there. It's uh, well, anyway, it's like it's approximately three miles long from one end to the other. And trout and uh, fishing season opens today. I got my hooks, but I don't see any holes. And the ponds are getting really, really bad. I almost got stuck back there, so anyway. I'm going to go on out now before there's any more slob mate. Anyway, out. Yeah, just got stuck. Right there, from there. Right there, that's where I got down into. I'm right on along there. Man, sorry, I had my, uh, I had my winch and stuff. Whew, hard work. And that machine is full of light. 100, 150 pounds, <laughs> I'd say. Probably six or seven hundred pounds. Now I had my uh, little boat winch and a couple of straps there just ready to mount. So, uh, I tell you, Please have the, the winch aboard. Anyway, just look. Well, not look, I had this board. It's the second time now that I got stuck like that in this one. And that's too, too, too many times. So that's it. Get all that hook down and, uh, and going that way right there. My cabin's up there under the slob. Man, I tell you, young folks are being beating around today, getting stuck in the truck. Anyway, beautiful day here in, is not the north. Anyway, there in central. Out. There's lynx tracks. Lynx. He was there. He was all around there eating the beaver. And he went out through there. Again. Track. Right there. And there. And there. Yep, and I fit out. Oh, it looks like he was after eating. That's the lynx right there. So he's been around there looking for something. Anyway, the lynx want. More lynx tracks. Walking up there. And he actually came out through that way. 